Hi, right, this is Adventure Allen, and Allison and I are here up at 11,000 feet in the High Sierra, and we'd like to talk to you or do a breakdown of our shared uh, two-person couples gear list and what we're using up here. Oh, say hi, Allison. Hi, everybody. Um, and we, um, both our packs are around 20 pounds, which is pretty light um, here, and we're ready for for all sorts of three season conditions. Um, this is a, uh, this gear we've refined over, over 17 years of backpacking and climbing and mountaineering together. Um, this is the type of gear we use in Patagonia. We're just back from 10 days north of the Arctic Circle um, in Gates of the Arctic National Park in Alaska. This is essentially the gear we took there. So this is a very robust, safe, gearless but it's super light um, and again each of these packs weighs about 20 pounds and now you want to talk about the packs for a bit sure um, so these are both of us have hyper light mountain gear packs mine's black his is white um, I've got the 3400 Alan has the 4400 um, he carries all the bulkier things that we bring um, I carry the smaller items and so while the weights are the same um, as we start to unfold our items, you'll see that some of those items are much bigger and bulkier. Those tend to be in the 4400 pack. So um, we're going to sort of break away. We're going to take turns behind the camera here and while the other person breaks down their pack and pulls gear out. Um, we're going to slam a couple things quickly on the ground like the tent and the quilt and our stove. Um, and we're not going to go into the details then, but um, once we get done sort of unloading our packs, we will go sort of take a deep dive into those so very sort of couple specific gear that you share together. They're great opportunities to save weight. They're great opportunities to sort of enhance the couple's experience. And we'll go into those in more detail. So we'll cut here and start doing the individual breakdowns. Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, the gear I'm bringing and what goes in this Hyperlite Mountain Gear 4400 pack. I'm just going to really quickly rattle through stuff. So this is a pair of $45 carbon fiber trekking holes, poles. Love them. They're great. Go everywhere. Um, flipping my pack around just to show you. This is a quick and easy grab a water bottle. I can fill it up at streams. Um, I've got my uh, GPS units. Uh, I've got a, a Garmin inReach, and i am actually got a somewhere in here. Um, I'm running both of them right now because the Garmin is a little wonky. Turning around to the front of the pack, I've got rainwear and rain pants in here, and I've got some rain gloves, and I've got my map set there. This side pocket here, I've got my stove fuel. This pocket here, I've got my Sawyer filter and a couple of Sawyer bladders. And now we're going to start unloading the pack. Notice that this 4400, it's nearly waterproof. It's actually got a roll top closure. And with the waterproof stuff sacks I have inside, I don't need to use a rain cover. And um, I don't need to use a pack liner, which is very convenient. This is my Diddy bag, which has got pretty much everything under creation that's small in it. It's got knife, headlamp, small first aid kit, a bunch of stuff. Um, this is a repair kit and also, um, because it is uh, sort of COVID-y times, so we have actually have a pulse oximeter and a thermometer. It's got meds and stuff in it. One ounce camp shoes. Light fleece shirt. This is all the extra clothing I'm bringing. It's in a waterproof stuff sack. Uh, bear canister. So this is one of the reasons that I have the larger pack. I have the larger bear canister. This is an under two pound bear canister. We are in a environment where this is required. Um, I should mention that we are bringing very dense, calorie dense food, very compact food. And we are out for seven days and we are each bringing somewhere between nine and 10 pounds of food. So it's nine or 10 pounds of food and that's another 10 pounds for gear. All right, diving deeper, super light, very warm down jacket, 
around camp at night, also in a waterproof stuff sack. Women's Neo Air, best for men and women, light, much warmer than the men's, love it. And then finally, um, I've got a two-person quilt here, also in a, actually in a roll-top waterproof stuff sack from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. This is an Enlightened Equipment Accomplice quilt. We'll show you more about that and how we rig and use it. It's a two-person quilt. Um, and that's it, which is one of the ways you can see that we're light is there just isn't a lot of gear here. But again, we have enough to weather three season conditions. We have enough gear here to go into Alaska. It works. So I'm going to turn this over and let Allison do her breakdown. Hi, Allison here. My turn to talk about my pack. Um, let me start with trucking poles. I have the same ones that Alan's uh, mentioned. Love these trucking poles. They're the best ever. Okay, the pack. Let me flip it around real quick. Um, on the shoulder straps, I usually carry a small bottle of water. Um, and then if I have a camera with me, I will carry it right here. Um, two pockets here. I have my sunscreen and bug juice on this side. On this side, I have lip balm because it does tend to get a little dry up here in the Sierras. Um, P rag on the side. Let me flip it around to the back. And here, I carry a raincoat. I've got my um, platy and then maps, of course, as well. Okay, so let's take a look at, oh, sorry, on the sides. I've got um, toilet paper, always kept in the same compartment in case of need. And, and then, potty trowel. Potty trowel and pot potty trowel. And then this side is where I carry our snacks and food for the day. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what's inside the pack. So first thing always is my ditty bag, just like Alan had. All small little things that I need throughout the day or in the evening kept in there. Um, I have a, a little bigger bag of um, items, clothing items that Alan has. I carry a couple pairs of socks and um, gloves because my hands tend to get colder. This is my um, down jacket that I have. This uses as a pillow if, it, if I don't want to wear it during the night. This is our shared stove system. I do carry it in my pack. Um, as you can see, it's pretty small and compact but um, that goes in my pack. Here's my Neo Air, exactly like Alan's, women's size, large. And then um, I, oh, camp shoes. And then I am also the carrier of the tent. Um, I am not a big fan of the tent. Um, stuff sack. The stuff sacks, it all comes together. So I tend to break it out. It fits better in the pack um, when I bring it down to components. So uh, today we've got a big Agnes tent. Um, we've tried a couple of different tents out. We just happen to be carrying the big Agnes today. I pulled it out of the stuff sack and just tied a knot around it to just hold it together. It's got the rain flap, which is this orange part, and the tent itself. But that way I can fold it together and it fits more compactly within the um, Backpack. That's a big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2, the 2020 model. We'll be talking about it more. And we'll be talking about it more. Um, I break out the, um, what are these things called? Poles. The poles, um, and I put them separately, mostly because the bear canister takes up a lot of space. Oops, one more thing. Um, this is the ground cloth that goes underneath the tent, but oh, final piece that I put at the bottom. That I wrestle with often is um, bear canister. So my bear canister is slightly smaller than Alan's, um, but that's it. Now you take a look at what's in my pack. Okay, so we're going to talk about our, our shared two-person cook system. Um, but first, we are having Thai peanut noodles, which is ramen with a bunch of uh, fixins that we put in there. And, and then we're going to add some um, delicious natural almond butter to it, and it will be delicious and a calorie bomb. I probably about 130 calories an ounce. Anyway, um, also we have these nice big titanium mugs that weigh um, less than two ounces each. I have 1.8 ounces. Nice big long shovel titanium spoons. But the main attraction here is 
this is this is a stove, a cook pot, and our fuel and everything we need is in this. It weighs six ounces or something. Of course it's titanium. Pull it out. Inside the cone for this stove is alcohol fuel. I will take the cone out of here. You do need to be kind of careful taking it out. But that's the cone. And we will put that together. And this is a heat exchanger and a windshield that kind of is the alcohol version of a jet boil stove. And by the way, if you have a jet boil and you want to use it, um, share it with a pot with two people. That's great too. This is a little lighter and we prefer it. But either one is, is totally valid. Um, anyway, the pot integrates into this heat exchanger. Um, this is the alcohol stove for it. That goes in here. I put a little fuel in there, light it, boil it, and we're good to go. And this whole cook set weighs probably, with the cups and the spoons and the pot, probably only about eight ounces. So it's super light and we love it and it's all it needs. It makes both cups of coffee for us in the morning. It will boil enough water to, to have tea for Allison and coffee for me. So it's awesome. Okay, so this is the tent we're using this trip. It's a big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2 and it's the 2020 model. And this is the only model that they made improvements for for the 2020. And actually, um, one of the reasons we're bringing this tent on this trip is we like the improvements um, for the couples. But first of all, we normally use this tent um, without the fly um, unless it's threatening rain or is actually raining. We like to just sleep with it in this stargazing mode. Um, you know, we can zip up the tent to keep the bugs out. Um, it's going to mosquitoes are going to come out a bit tonight. We're going to appreciate the bug netting. Um, but it obviously comes with a very nice rain flare, one of the fly. One of the nice features of this fly, which we'll show in a separate video, is this awning. It has an awning that comes out from the rain fly that can work as a sunshade or protect the entrance in light rain. You can even cook underneath it. But that's, that's another video, so I'm just going to take it out of here. Um, obviously, um, there's a reasonable amount of room in the tent, but Big Agnes has done a lot of things to increase that, that floor area. Um, they have this spreader pole at the top, which creates these vertical walls, which creates more interior room. These poles here are pre-bent, um, which also makes the walls more vertical. And the thing that we're most excited about the 2020 tent are these two huge gear lofts in the tent that get everything off of the floor of the tent, which makes it seem much larger. Um, really, you can basically get everything that you want out of your pack store it in these gear lofts and in these uh, there's two side pockets one here and one over there and once it's stored in there um, your floor space is free and clear you don't have all these stuff sacks rolling around you don't have the backpack in the tent with you so the actual livable space and the creature comforts is is really quite nice with this tent um, and finally it's it's light it's i think um, i'll put the specs up on the video but i think it's about two and three quarters pound which is pretty light for a double walled um, dome freestanding tent. Um, super easy to set up, of course, with this hub pole design. But we're gonna break out and I'll show you a couple of the pockets that we like. Okay, so one of the really nice things is this uh, large gear loft above the head end of the tent. It's a great place to put things like your iPhone, a pair of headphones, your sunglasses, headlamps, stuff that you need handy. Um, and it's, it's pretty large. You see it spans the whole width of the tent and it's in a really nice reachable area. Also, down here you can't see it, but about where my hand is down here, there's a side pocket, pretty large side pocket for each person to put their own individual gear. So you have this huge storage area this, at the rear end of the tent. As you can see, it's actually three-dimensional. It actually has depth to it. It'll hold a ton of stuff. And this is, gets you the stuff sacks, like for the tent. I've got meds and repair and first aid kit. You could dry some gear here. But uh, again, it keeps stuff off the floor of this tent and out of the way, and it makes it super easy to find. So um, something that we really, really like about this tent. Okay, so let's start with our, our sleeping pads, and this will break into why our quilt. But our quilt comes with these elastic straps, which keep our sleeping pads together. 
um, and two sleeping pads together actually give you more room than if you're individually sleeping on these pads. Uh, the shared area in the middle just turns out to be a very advantageous thing and you can both sleep with both arms on the pads which is something that you can't do with a single Neo Air pad. Um, these are the women's Neo Air pads. They are warmer and better than the men's pads and we both use them and uh, they'll make you sleep a lot warmer. What people don't know is that the average sleeping bag test is done with like an R4.8 pad and these are R5.4 pads and most pads are about an R2.0 to R3 so you're going to sleep a lot colder if you don't use a pad like this. These are the stuff sacks for our down jackets. They have a nice nappy sat side that we can use for a pillow and all in all this is an exceptionally comfortable way to sleep with a lot more room. I'm going to go off now and bring the quilt back. I'll lay it on these pads and I'll talk about the quilt. So this is our Enlightened Equipment um, two-person quilt. As you can see, it's incredibly huge and incredibly fluffy. Um, it is only two pounds. That's a pound a person. It's an Honest Plus 20 quilt. Between the pads and the quilt, you will sleep warm. It's got this nice baffle collar. Between sleepers, um, you can clip it together. And each person has their own individual neck snap but there's uh the quilt has just an incredible amount of wrap around you so nobody no blanket stealing everybody stays warm everybody has plenty of room if it's too warm you can just sort of kick it off you can kick an arm or leg out if it gets cold you tuck in um, it's fabulous so i'm just going to pull my shoes off and get into here so you can just sort of get to see how this works it's got a nice foot box at the end here to keep your feet super warm. Take my hat off here. And this is just utter comfort, warmth, and luxury. It's fantastic. Okay, I hope that gives you a good idea of what a, you know, a, a lightweight and efficient couples gear list would look like for three season use even in high alpine environments. Um, as you can see, there just isn't a lot of gear here. So obviously one of the important things is just to very carefully select what you want. And again, um, the type of tent you take, uh, whether you share sleeping bags or how you connect your sleeping pads together, um, the type of stove you take, um, and who carries what and where are all sort of important things to keep in mind when you're doing backpacking with a, a partner. Um, and definitely put the same thing in the same place every time or... Absolutely. You, yeah, you will spend some very frustrating moments discussing between each other who has what and who should have had what. Um, definitely don't want to go there and there you can definitely prevent it. Um, anyway, if you like this video, please go ahead and click like. Um, and go ahead and follow the Adventure Allen channel. Go ahead and click that bell so you get notified of great future videos coming out from us. And uh, make sure that you check the comments section below for our nine pound gear list. Everything on here is included in our nine pound gear list, which is on our website in the comments below. And you can get all the details and where to get this gear. Um, and so with that, this is Adventure Allen. And Allison. Signing out until our next video. Thanks for watching.